Well, good day, my friends. We are in Auburn, Indiana. It is snowing, it is raining, it is cold, but we are gonna check out indoors the National Auto and Truck Museum. I can't wait to check this out. There's some pretty cool things from what I was able to see online. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. I guess we're gonna see this, home of the Future Liner 10. All right, we are inside the history of Auburn. Indiana has a lot of car history, Duesenberg, where they built the Cord automobile. Kind of cool. Look at all the cool stuff they have here. Old racing cars, drag cars. John Stambro. Take a look at this beauty. This was driven in the great race. John Toller, all kinds of names on it. The great race is a vintage cart time distance rally that's held in the US over a nine day period each June, covering over 2,000 miles in nine days. Cool. I feel like that's my life sometimes. They have all kinds of toy cars and planes for kids, the pedal cars here on display. The top floor is all automobiles and the bottom floor, this is a two floor building, bottom floor is all the trucks. So here's a 1969 Dodge Charger we saw when we came in. They have a whole Charger exhibit here. There's a 1970. They're very proud of this. And I love the Charger, so. You know the most famous Charger, of course, probably. The Dukes of Hazard generally. Here we've got a black Charger. Here we have a 1966 Charger. Since they kind of stacked them to display, they're a little hard to show all the detail. But this is 1966 Charger known as the Lawman. Alex Strand. This is racing car, his drag car. Here they have a vintage diner on display if cars aren't completely your thing. It's the 1948 Valentine Diner from Angola, Indiana. Not too far from here. It says it was built in Wichita, Kansas and shipped in various pieces to Angola. Sorry to interrupt, folks. Just looking around. Now back here we have the Golden Age, says, with a standard oil display and an old 1903 Ford Model A. Then back here, I mentioned the cord. There's a 1931 cord, L29. So these would have been the cars that were built here. I would have driven it. <laughs> That's a beauty. That is a beauty. And then that is a 1910 Pratt Elkhart, which I assume also was built here because we're very close to Elkhart, Indiana, probably where they got the name the Elkhart. Beautiful car. And right next to this is the Duesenberg Museum. I'm not going to do that today. Just because the weather is supposed to get even worse. 1929 L29 cord. That is also beautiful. That's like copper. Copper trimmed. Copper color trimmed. Over here, this is the 1951 Henry J. It was one of America's first American-made compact automobiles. Probably named after Henry J. Ford, wouldn't you imagine? What I love is if you look, it says Henry J. on it. A couple of places on the car right there. It says Henry J. And if we work our way to the back, right smack dab on the trunk, 
There's another Henry J. And look at that. Wow. Kaiser Darren. Very neat. They had at one point a General Lee on display here. I'm not seeing it though. Back here, a little nod to car dealership here in Auburn. Charles Becker Motor Car Service. You see he's selling some automobiles here. And then here is a 1935 Auburn Speedster replica. So, not an original, but get an idea of what he was selling here. We have another gas station over here, the Motor Service, Warner's Motor Service. But they have a 1948 Amp prototype car here. Let's see, what do we think of the Amp? I don't know, it's a little dull looking to me, in my opinion. We have a 1974 Mercury Capri, a Capri. I think they call it a Capri, but people in Italy pronounce it Capri. Then here we have a Barracuda. That is great, 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Beautiful, beautiful, I love these cars. 1971 Chevy Corvette T-Top. Beautiful color. That kind of screams 71, doesn't it? And look at the color of the T-Top. They went two-tone on it. Beautiful car. And that is the 1971 Indianapolis 500 pace car. 500 mile pace car. Dodge Challenger. Here they have a 1969 Barracuda Coupe. It's a beautiful car, but I kind of like this one next to it even more. A red DeLorean. The DMC DeLorean, probably most known for the being the time machine. Back to the Future. Didn't see a whole lot of them in red in my life. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Patrick Swayze had a beloved DeLorean that was like a real treasure to him that when it sold after he died, when they auctioned it, went for like a hundred and, God, what was it? 150 grand. So here we have another Corvette. Let's take a look at some of the cars here. They have a lot of cars, so I'm not even gonna go down to the trucks today. We'll do that another time. 1965 Cobra. This was kind of surprising. This 1995 Crown Victoria was the last vehicle owned by legendary screen star Katherine Hepburn. Huh. I would not have guessed Katherine Hepburn as a cop car driver, but <laughs> they have an article that's funny. The last car of Katherine Hepburn. How crazy. From a lion in winter. Wow. <laughs> I just, I couldn't imagine her driving that. Let's say, not that I can't imagine it, it's just that I wouldn't have expected it. That is a 1963 Studebaker Avanti. It was the answer to the Corvette. I don't think so. Not in looks anyway. A 1963 Oldsmobile Tornado. I don't know that I've even ever heard of the Tornado. Looks pretty basic design for that time period though. Here's a 67 Pontiac GTO. Right there is a 1969 Camaro. That is a very cool car. Love those old Camaros. And then a 66 Oldsmobile 442. Wow, look at 
look at that old shell gas truck that is very cool nineteen forty one then over here they have a brewing wagon for beer barrel delivery all kinds of I'm surprised they have in some of the trucks up here because they have some downstairs supposed to be the big truck area. Here we have a couple of Model A's. Here's two different 1931 Ford Model A's. Looks like hard top, truck style, with a bed in the back for hauling. And then the deluxe Phaeton. More of a family car, looks like. Luxury. We're getting close to the future liner. First, we have to enter the world of Hudson. Here we have the 1951 Hudson Pacemaker. And then, that one's actually pretty nice. I like that one. 1952 Hudson Hornet Sedan. That is nice. I like that. And back here we have a 1950 Hudson Commodore. And then this was the 1941 Hudson Deluxe Sedan. Beautiful cars. I love those old cars. And they're really promoting this future liner pretty heavy here. I guess it was the thing of tomorrow, right? All of that material in there talks about it. Basically, it looks like what the thought behind this was, and this is the future liner right here. Looks like the idea behind this was basically a way of putting together an exhibit that you could take on the road to like fairs and festivals and circuses and things like that that you wouldn't have to unload and they could just park. Basically, nowadays, I guess you'd call it a food truck. Basically like a food truck. But pretty cool. The Parade of Progress. Let's see what the front of the Parade of Progress looks like. Nineteen fifty three future liner right there. Here have a nineteen sixty seven Chevy convertible. Wish the lighting were a little bit better in here, but and then over here, that's a beauty also. Firebird, sixty seven Firebird. Made by Pontiac. And then I'm surprised this is here, but Kind of stands out, not fitting. 1988 Buick Riata convertible prototype. Kind of weird to see like an 80s car in here, but. This is a 1963 Chevy Corvair. Haven't been looking in a lot of the cars just because I wasn't quite sure what boundaries you're allowed to pass. <laughs> Here, 1966 Mustang convertible in yellow. Here's a 1955 Ford Thunderbird. Now right here in the center they have a bunch of race cars you can see <laughs> and right there you can see one that says marty robbins country singer marty robbins the old town of el paso cool looking car i like the colors got his name right there on the top also we still have a few other things to see and then just past that is Richard Petty's 1964 Plymouth Belvedere. I figured as soon as I saw that 43, I'm like, I know what that is. Look at that. They've got the whole history of the car and everything right there. 
Oh, bummer. Real small lettering. It says this is a recreation. Uh, exact replica of the car that Petty built to win the 1964 Winston Cup. That's all right. I'll take it. You get the feel of what it should be like. In the king's seat right there. That is the race car of David Pearson. And then this one's Terry Labonte. Famous name in racing. Terry Labonte's Piedmont. And a 1969 Ford Talmadge Benny Parsons race car. Torino Cobra, it says. So he raced this 1969 at Talladega. So go find that race and you can see this exact car racing. Oh, an Edsel Corvair. Now we're getting to like the Brady Bunch style family cars, I feel like. Station wagon over here. 1970 Buick Estate Station Wagon. My buddy Eric Singer, formerly drummer of KISS, he loves station wagons. Kind of one of those odd things you wouldn't think. There's a 1958 Ford station wagon, and this will give us a chance to see the side of this one, which it has no information as to the maker model. But this was the 58 Ford. Here's an old Sinclair gas truck. And of course, the wood grain, wood trim. Those are the ones I remember when I was growing up seeing on the road all the time. As a kid, I just thought these were like the dorkiest looking cars ever. Station wagons. So here we have a 1986 Chevy Chevette and it is attached and being pulled. So this would be like if you were taking a summer trip or vacation or whatever, you could take that as your driving car if you were living out of this. But looks like they have another car in front of it even. I don't recognize this. This is called the Glacier. The GMC Glacier Motorhome. And it doesn't look like they have any of it open to be able to walk inside or look at it, but you don't see any of these on the road anymore, so they must not have lasted to where they could be maintained for very long. And then look at this beauty up front. Nineteen fifty one Ford. This is the nineteen sixty Buick LeSabre. The Eldorado. Look at that bad boy. Nice. And then you gotta love that color. Even if you don't love that color, you gotta love that color. <laughs> Sedan DeVille, 1957 Cadillac. That is so nice. So nice. And then over here, an old Studebaker with the fins, which I think that's the main thing they're showing right here is all these cars with this section is kind of showing off the fins, fins of the 50s. Guess I should have been showing those traits, right? We'll do it now. So this was the 1959 Studebaker Silverhawk. That was nice, I like that one. 1956 Chrysler Imperial. 
My grandpa had the Chrysler Imperial. This one's kind of strange. These are different fins. Check these out. You've got your lights on the fins up here on both sides. I don't know. What do you think? Kind of a cop car look to me in a way. And then lastly, we have a 1962 Chrysler 300 hardtop. Now there are other things in this museum. This place is huge. And like I said, there's even a museum right next door you can go to. There's a bottom floor to this of just trucks. But I've learned that people that watch videos on YouTube don't really watch much longer than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the rest of that for another day. I think we saw a lot of cool stuff today. So I'm really glad that I stopped even though the weather was horrible today. The weather was so bad that when I walked in, she's like, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I'd like to see the museum. She goes, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think we'd see anybody here today. Oh, wait a minute, we didn't see these. There are a couple of cars over here. Got a City of Maumee police car, a Bel Air. And yeah, these are actually worth checking out. There's a handful of cars over here. A 1982 Bailiff Packard. Interesting. Never heard of that one either. I didn't even know the Packard was around in 82. And then look at this bad boy. The 1935 Auburn Boattail Speedster. That is pretty freaking cool. Supercharged. And then I guess our last car now, <laughs> technically that I'll show you is the 1951 Deluxe Victoria Hardtop, which that is a nice car. Those hardtops look nice. I think if I had one of those old cars, I'd prefer a hardtop to a convertible. They just look cooler to me. Unfortunately, no General Lee, but we've seen them before. We did see that awesome red DeLorean and we saw Catherine Hepburn's Crown Vic. <laughs> Pretty fun day, I think. And a Shriners car. I gotta tell you, I really, really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I knew I would because I love checking out old cars, but I didn't know the history of the building that it was in. I thought that was really cool and just to see how much stuff that they've preserved and how many things you can come visit like i said there's museums there's like a uh henry ford museum right by here the duesenberg museum is right by here but i think because of the weather we're gonna have to call it a day i want to thank patty fischetti and i think i mispronounced her name wrong the last time i want to thank chanel silman for becoming my newest patreon we will see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye.